Yeah, good to see you again. We'll have another uh, example question involving simple interest. And hopefully you have seen the previous question already and you have a good idea what you're supposed to do. Eh? Uh, so I hope you are already a little bit confident. Let's have a look at one more question. I'm sure you will be super confident afterwards. Yeah. So again, I've written the question down. You can't read it, perhaps I'm going to read it out loud for you, so don't worry. It says, well, John invests $600 for five years at a rate of 2% per year simple interest. How much interest will John receive? Okay, so I'm going to highlight the important information now. Yeah, so uh, of course, how much money I invest is important. Yeah, $600. I'm giving the bank $600 uh, for how long? Is also very important, of course, five years, yeah, which is quite long. And I'm getting 2% per year. Yeah, so 2% per year and simple interest. Yeah, and now the question um, is if it's printed, that will be in bold already to distinguish between compound interest and simple interest. Okay, but it's still very important that you really uh, are aware of that. So, simple interest. How much interest will John receive? Okay, so in the previous example, the question was how much money uh, will I have? Yeah, but in this case, it's how much interest will John receive? Okay, well, we'll get there in a minute. First of all, $600 for five years, 2% per year, simple interest. So what do I have to do first? Well, first of all, I'm gonna find out what is 2% of $600, okay? So I have $600 and they're giving me 2% per year. So I'm gonna find out how much money is 2% of $600. Now I always go to what is 1%, then I times it by 2% in this case, and 600 divided by 100, that is six times two, so I'm gonna get, or John's gonna get, $12 every year, because the 2% was per year. Now simple interest means, well, if I get $12 per year, then for five years, yeah, because the question is after five years, I'm gonna get 12 times five, yeah, which is the same as $60. The final question then is how much interest will John receive? So in this particular example, the $60 is my final answer. John will receive $60 interest of the bank yeah now perhaps in a slightly different question they could ask me so how much money does John have at the end yeah and then I should do well 600 plus the interest he receives so plus 60 so John will have 660 dollars in his possession yeah but considering the question now is how much interest will John receive the 60 dollars is the final answer yeah so simple interest 2% per year, so I find out what is 2% of 600 M, the percentage of a quantity. Now we all have our different ways of doing that, but I divide by 100% times it by 2% in this case, so $12, $12 every year. Yeah, so $12 after one year, two times $12, $24 after two years, three times $12, as so $36 after three years, and after five years, so 12 times five, $60. All right, now have a look at compound interest, which is not more difficult, but you just have to do one or two more things. Okay, so nothing to worry about. I'll see you there.